What do you guys think of this head wrap? Like, I was trying to lay my edges and then when I put it on, I was like, oh, girl, you're cute. <laughs> I'm not a makeup YouTuber. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the black one that I purchased with Magnolia Makeup. And as you can see, it dries to such a beautiful finish. The only problem that I had with it is once I'm done applying it and I close the tube back up, the liquid like spills over. So it's like all over my hands and I personally don't think it's worth the trouble. Even though it looks really nice, I don't want half of it on my lips then the other half on my hands and I have to waste the makeup wipe. It's just too much, but it does look really, really nice, so. This is the second lip, Godiva, and it is so chocolatey and so perfect. I think it will look great if you have an evening out where you don't want to be too flashy, but you definitely want to make a statement. This is it. So this is Teddy and I wanted a brown nude and I definitely found the perfect one. It matches my skin almost too perfectly. So I think when I actually wear it out, I will add a dark brown lip liner and I might add a white nude on top in the middle of my lips in order to create a slight ombre effect. Please feel free to follow me at it's Dana B E E. And when I do that look, I'll mention it in the caption so you can know what that looks like. So the last and final lipstick that I tried on for you guys is called Sea line It's the more traditional nude. I think Magnolia did a great job with this one. It dries to a very, very nice color. I personally wouldn't wear it every day just because I don't like traditional nudes. When I put them on, I feel like they can look a little bit chalky. And I have really big lips, so the colors I wear have to be nice without drawing too much attention. So I think what I might do is layer it on top of Teddy to create that ombre look that I was talking about earlier it can stand on its own but just of my personal style and preference I probably wouldn't wear it alone often or if I did I would add um, a brown lip liner so this is what it looks like two coats no lip liner all right guys so I'm back to my natural state with nothing but Vaseline on my lips I need to moisturize my lips after trying on the different matte lipsticks Anywho, my entire search started because I absolutely love wearing dark lipstick colors and I was on the hunt for a black lipstick. So while I was searching for the black, I thought it would be nice to find nudes that are fit for women of color. Don't get me wrong, I love white nudes. I've worn um, a white nude several, on several different occasions. However, the selection for brown nudes can be limited. So you can imagine my excitement when I found a company that not only is black owned, it carries three different shades of brown. Like, yes, yes, I was so hyped. Like, you guys don't even understand. And before we end, I think it's really important to point this out. So when you shop on magnolia.com, they offer their lipsticks in the regular size, but they also have a test size. And I thought that was absolutely amazing. I was actually super excited about it and thought it was a good opportunity for me to test a color out without fully committing. However, when I went to the store and I saw the size of the actual test size, I was so happy that I didn't spend my $6 on that. I think the test size is only for if you're really, really unsure, but I think you get your money's worth if you just buy regular size. So this is the regular size. This is the C line, the last lipstick that I tried on, and this is the test. I'm not sure if you can, can you guys see this? 
All right, guys, so that is all that I have for you for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I would love if you guys would comment below. Let me know which color was your favorite. Let me know if you plan on shopping with Magnolia Makeup or if you've been shopping with them and I'm just late to the game. Please let me know because I was so excited to find this company and share it with everyone. Again, please go ahead, like this video, comment below, and be sure to subscribe. Share it with another lipstick lover so that, you know, we could share the love everyone can know what we have going on here i love you guys i can't wait to see you in my other videos because i definitely have some good stuff coming up for the rest of the month have a good one and catch you guys next time